Yes, you heard it, folks. To the beach we go. Hey guys, welcome to the with more post commentary. We're covering half the squad ED, uh, the beach DLC. And I think you'll see quickly what this is actually about when we get going. This is honestly one of the best grinding DLC if you want to get lots of money and experience. So if you need that, then that's just probably the best place to go into it DLC wise. But honestly, I can say I do like this map. Um, we'll see. So we're going into part one Supply Route Skirmish. September 1935. After a narrow victory at the Ziegfeld Line, the military is restructuring the army to account for its losses. Squad E has been given special orders. Sounds like they're not out there anymore. I guess they must have retreated. Ha! <laughs> Figured the imps were a bunch of pansies. One look at me and they run for the hills. It's kind of weird, though. What is? Remember what Command said? Isn't this some critical supply line for the Empire? Yeah, since this road leads to the ocean. Intelligence said it was a new transport route by sea. That's why they rushed our deployment. And yet, the soldiers got squat earlier. None of them really put up much of a fight before retreating. Yeah, and I got the sense their morale wasn't the highest either. That's just because we kicked their ass at the Zeke Fall line, don't you think? Maybe. I hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. What are you standing around for? If you have time to chat, you have time to move. All right, all right. Why are we stuck with Squad House Commander again? This is textbook, soldier. While we wait for supplies, we have to weaken the enemy as much as possible. Squad E was assigned to this mission, but many of your soldiers are unreliable at best. So I was given approval to join you as a strategist and chaperone. No objections. Now march! Fine. You're the boss, Lieutenant. Anyway, let's head for the coast. The logistics base we're looking for should be there. So all we gotta do is shut them down. Okay, let's go. Hey, you smell that sea air? And I can hear waves. We gotta be close now. The enemy's logistics base should be around here. Be careful. Hmm? Over there. What? Whoa. Yep. This yep. is amazing! There's a whole freaking resort over here! Yep. White sand? I've only ever seen this in books. Yep. This place seems way too conspicuous for an enemy base. Wait. Imperial soldiers! Everyone, race for combat! Leave it to us! Let's stop them! So, this map on its own raiding the base, is actually really easy. The problem comes in that what it's asking you to do, because this isn't it. It's not just this one mission. You'll see the why later on, but yeah. <laughs> we will now commence an assault upon the enemy supply base. The enemy's base camp is located along the shoreline, and missions to capture it as quickly as possible. However, the surrounding forests and buildings provide plenty of cover. Enemies may be lying in wait for us. This, this assault means nothing if any Imperials escape. 
find them and take them out on sight. Three turns! Three turns to clear this map. That's a guaranteed C. You can do it in one turn. Yeah. I didn't know at this point, but it's not asking you specifically to clear this map as quick as possible. It's not asking you specifically to hunt F1 down. I'll go into that in a bit. But for now, just bear in mind, there's more to this map than meets the eye. Ready at any time. Now this first run through, I'll admit, I wasn't exactly Moving thinking out. or paying attention. And it kind of didn't pay off. It kind of went wrong. You'll you'll see. But let's go. Let's go. I don't know why I skipped that. Eliminate the enemy. Squad E, move out. It is nice to back going back to sub. Then again, the ship sunk and we're at the beach. Yay! Logical progression. The morale's low. Let's take him down. Move out. Drive the Imperials back. So one thing that I noticed incredibly quickly, which I didn't, is how big this map actually is. It's not small. And considering the base is right over there, it seems very silly. I've got this. You can clear this in one turn. <laughs> but something you may scared. also notice that I didn't oh, is the amount of death from running into. <laughs> Don't take the enemy lightly. Just because you can clear it in one turn doesn't mean you can afford to take risks. Or big risks. Notice that rises near the gate already. Perfect time for that to actually. This map is not one to take lightly. I'm not even paying attention to half of what's going on. And of course, then this happens. I, I feel like I, let, I think that I should have left this in because it just. It shows you how stupid I was! <laughs> and what was I expecting? Put me down. got final stand to fire. I never lose. And then uh, I'm glad it's invincibility. But then I did something so stupid. I'm almost ashamed to admit I did it. You see, I was going through the stuff and forgot the flamethrowers after the gun. Yeah. I had a last stand and waste it. <laughs> Out of that, just the shame. The shame got to me. It's like, okay, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, so I think it's, there's no need penalty, really, for losing rounds here. Any, any captains that live, maybe they get knocked out, so. Yeah. So, that was a bit of an opening. So, let's try it with less fail, shall we? Now I'm wondering if you'll notice something before I have to point it out. I'm actually paying attention just to see if it doesn't work, but... Yep. I got annoyed and decided, you know, I'll bugger it for charging. I think it's missing both of them. No, no, it hits both. Good. And then from there... Just... Hang on, wait, does it go away? There we go. Did you notice? So, yeah. Now we're through. This is pretty much all that's here. And we shut down the ground here. Really, just knocking them out. In fact, all you gotta do is hit them with some kind of explosive that dislodges them. And you can break through. Good time to double like heater fire. Because now we can just go, hello, you're in the turn. That is worth an A rank. Just that. Two actions. Three of the AP is on fire. And that's worth 18,000 experience and 30,000 ducats. 
This is the bit I didn't know afterwards. There were four aces here. Each of them are all of map. Now, I've taken a liberty. Because it's a free turn map. I don't know why Let's I'm go. showing this part, but it's going to stay in there. Just say, hey, here's the line up I have. What you are looking for are four aces. There's one per area. One the high ground, one the beach, one in the trenches behind it, and one down the back. Each of them corresponds to one member of your squad. One named member of your squad. For this map, minus Minerva. You are looking for a scout, a grenadier, a shock trooper, and a sniper. Got enemies here. Now, I remember why I'm leaving this building because, like, look at that. Hello. Just completely ignore the guy I'm looking for. In this case, yeah. I wasn't paying attention to that. Just, just watch, just how long it takes me to notice. It's like, hey, okay, we're doing what we're out here. Hmm. Let's see, where the enemy are. Where the enter? I think. Didn't I go over one, two? Oh, and well, I was again. Okay, let's just keep breaking through. I'll notice eventually. Got enemies here! Got enemies here! Here we go. Yeah. Right. Just kill this guy. Well, actually, I do notice eventually. Now, at this point, I'm thinking, hang on, that's a heavy tank there. Hmm. Let's grab the Huffin. Maybe we can take it out of that way. Okay. After highlighting the ace again! There they are! This guy here literally exists to let you know there are aces here. Me? Ram away, oh, and on the dial. Hello. So, do I take out the tank, or do I take out the tank? Just take out the tank. I still haven't noticed, by the way. I know he's there, but I haven't done anything to him. It's about this point here, when I move high up, that I notice. Ha! Huh, he's named. Must be nice. Let's kill him. That's one. That's number one. Now, for the essence, because we've already seen this map, we're going to move on to number two. This is, as you see, up the top right corner. Here is a random light tank, and I was, I'm not going to agree because I'm thinking this might be a sign. It's not. I'm in entirely the wrong place for that. Now, this is where I kind of stumble across them accidentally. Let's provide support with the hopper. Around this corner, there we go, you can see where it is now. Around here, there, War of Kent, War of Water. We've already had an investigator. So there goes Clark, up the hill. I guess number two. Is that some kind of shirt? It's certainly gaudy. Entirely unfit for the battlefield. Let's take it with us. Go for it, Raz. Why not? Could be useful. Don't worry, I'm on it. Let's keep moving. From there, we're going to move on. This is where we find number three. Any time now. There we go. Minerva again. So that was going to be. Minerva here is is finding us. A sniper. As I, I don't know where to look, that's the sad thing. I'm like scrambling around like, where could it be, where could it be, where could it be? Well, it turns out it's oh, actually no. a very, very obvious place. Hello! And th you might be thinking I'm being a dunce here. I'm too close to hit them. That's why I've stopped. I, oh, come on, really? And stop aiming and... So, that's our sniper. Now, I forget his name. It was in the thing. You, you saw it. 
Now I'm slightly like, okay, you wanna play it that way? Fine, we'll play that game. Who wants mortar? You watch the blitz. Dead. That's number three. Huh? Look at this idiot! He dropped his gear! It can give us some insight on what routes they're moving through. Let's take it. That's all I got this time. And let's put it inside to finish the map. Which, you know. Got it! Hey, Nancy. Mine. Mine. So, we got three out of four. You might be wondering what exactly is you're working towards. Well, it really depends how you look at things. <laughs> They could barely hold on to their own equipment. Are all Imperials this incompetent? Never seen anything like this in the Federation. Might give us some new intel on the Imperial Army. We should inspect it carefully. There is a new ending if you have a nice new sleep, but three turns got us a B. Maybe we can get in this as a B, so it's minimally tough game. This is what you've been working towards. Beat costumes. Yeah, something drab, something cute, and something sporty. This is because we haven't got Razzes, and I love his name for that one. But we're gonna cover these three first, and I'll show you Razzes. But something drab, which I don't know what I'm doing right now. What am I doing? Apparently, it's something really interesting is something I bought tab. Maybe I've got game packs open or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, actually, to be fair, I think I did have game packs open. I was trying to find them all, so I gave up. It's just, it's not that long. I think it was like an hour. And then I got looked at game facts. But yeah, um, anytime now, video game. I don't know, but let me tell you now, this is like a good reward or a bad reward, depending on how you look at things. Good, if it's a good reward, because you might enjoy the fan service. A bad reward, because you might not. But the amount I get from doing the operation might make up for that in itself. I mean, who can say no to a good couple thousand ducats? You get a couple of thousand experience as well. I mean, the minimum you can get is like 12,000 and... Um... It's like 12,000 and... 24,000 or something like that. Which, even on its own scale, is really good. So, something drab. <laughs> yeah, Claude's better than I thought. Mm -hmm. All right, we're doing this. Give me one of those. I'll show you what a real man looks like. Um, can I take this off yet? <laughs> That's my favorite line. Moving on, we have something cute concerning Riley. shape anywhere. You thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, this is a bikini. Whoa, you're turning red. Want to share your thoughts with the class, Mr. Valedictorian? <laughs> Here, one to talk. You can't keep your eyes off it. Hey, can you blame me? Men dream about this kind of stuff. Say, uh, Kai. No. 
<laughs> just... Agreed. I'll pass. Why don't they just shut down? Any respectable soldier would never be caught wearing something so frivolous. Free, too. Well, I'm technically not a soldier, so... I might as well take it. He's not wrong. You're actually gonna wear that? Why not? I mean, it's kind of revealing, isn't it? A bathing suit is sportswear. If you want to get all worked up over it, that's your problem. Come on, look at this beautiful beach. We can't pass up this chance, can we? Uh... Now that's settled, hold on while I get changed. <laughs> yeah, this is great. So, what do you think? Whoa. Whoa, nice! It could be in magazines. I, I mean, you know, the good kind. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, huh? How about it, Claude? Nothing you want to add? Uh, well, wow, it's just really clear now. <sighs> Can't you take your eyes off the weather for one second? Get your head out of the clouds for once. Come on! The only thing clear is that you never change. <laughs> What's clear is that you're as beautiful as ever. This is something sporty. Now, this is where I'm convinced they knew what they were doing. From the off. <laughs> You'll see! This is... a women's racing swimsuit? Admirably practical. And modest, too. A bit too small for me, though. No, no, no. I give it a zero. Not sexy. I'm not into it. <laughs> well, you don't have to wear it. But I think I will. They know. They know. Huh? H hey, uh, if we keep looking, we could probably find one that's a little more flirty or... No, I want this one. I'm not interested in playing at the beach. I'd rather just swim. Give me a minute. I'll get changed. Oh, man. This is where I'm convinced they knew what they were doing. <laughs> this doesn't feel too bad. It's like the start of an ass shot. <laughs> what do you hey. think? It's okay, right? Very yeah, it's super cute. Simple designs really work for you. This kind of swimsuit is a lot easier for me to look at, too. <sighs> Just say it, Raz. I know you're thinking it. Oh, well, you, uh... What? You have an incredible ass. Trying and succeeding at doing things. So there are four here, and we've got three. So we're going back in, and to save us all time, I decided, hey, let's head it down a bit. So, the welcome to Shock Troop Breaks, who actually is up here. I skipped this like three times looking for the guy. In here we have Macho Savasiel, a Shock Trooper. There. We're a pain in the ass to fight as well. But, side one. Let's we'll kill him once. Okay, moving out. And with a half in here. Excuse me, good sir. Could you hold this for me? I know it's a bit big, but yeah, I feel you can hold it. They really like doing that in the FC one. Some gear. Is this the bandana or something? Well, I'll hold on to it just in case. I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about that one. <laughs> oh. 
Now that is Razis and gets us something douchey. <laughs> they knew. <laughs> for just touching it. What you got? It's a men's swimsuit, but I don't think we can use this. Really? It's summery and the design isn't that bad. No way. It's so... douchey. Any man wearing this deserves nothing but scorn. Do they expect women to be impressed? Free, too. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's so freaking cool! Now that's a swimsuit! <sighs> you wouldn't like those. Are you that desperate? N no! Look, we're at the beach, so I'm allowed to have a little fun, right? Well, I won't stop you. Go ahead. Wear your douchey swimsuit. Hit on whoever you want. Look, I'm telling you. Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna get changed. <laughs> Perfect. Can we have pair of sunglasses as well? Man, check me out. Now that's style, right? How do you like me now, Kai? <laughs> so proud. <laughs> hey, what? Come on, at least say something. What a douchebag. <laughs> huh? Sorry, didn't catch that. Get away from me. I don't want people to think I know you. <laughs> if you really want to be a sleazy pickup artist, go do it somewhere else. What? Kai, wait! Whoa, are you blushing? Now, because we got these four, we actually unlock a few more episodes. Because there's one person we haven't got a costume for. But you'll see that next time. Catch you later!